That's Lincoln. I'm Aaron. That's Nikki. Tonight, Game Night comes to you from a special new location. If only this camera could turn around and point out that window, you would see the lush forest, the beautiful mountains. Is that a bald eagle? It is, because we're in the Pacific Northwest, or as it's sometimes called, Cascadia. Cascadia is a tile laying and wildlife drafting game for one to four players, designed by Randy Flynn and published by AEG and Flat Out Games. So let's go to our beautiful secluded woodland cabin. Don't pet the elk, don't chase the salmon, but come and watch us play, won't you? Hey Aaron. Hey Lincoln. We teach us Cascadia. I will teach you Cascadia. Welcome to the beautiful Pacific Northwest, where we're going to build a paradise full of animals and landscapes and then score victory points as we are bound to do. Curse for all eternity to score victory points no matter where we yeah. are and what we do. All right, so this is Cascadia. We have our starting tiles randomly selected from the five in the box here in front of us. And we are going to select tiles and wildlife tokens every turn until the game ends. The game goes for 20 rounds. Mm. You each get 20 turns. You take out a number of these tiles, the uh, habitat tiles, based on the number of players. We have chosen or deleted enough tiles so that we'll exactly get 20 turns each. On your turn, you're going to select one of these four choices here. You're going to either get this Habitat tile and wildlife or okay. this habitat tile and wildlife. These are paired up. So you're going to choose one of those There are just a few wrinkles to how you do that One wrinkle is you always check for overpopulation and that means that if at any point mm. all four animals are the same mm. You immediately wipe them away set them aside and draw four new animals out of the bag Okay and then you just place them out there. If these did happen to all four be the same, you would do this again, again? immediately okay. until you have at least two animals represented there. Now, if at a point during your turn there are three of the same animal, you can once during your turn also do an overpopulation wipe of those animals. Okay. Not all four, but just the three. And again, these go to the side out of the bag until You're we're done, done with this. Yeah, yes. you put them back in. Now we put these out of here. And now you're going to choose a set of a tile and an animal. There's one more way to uh, change this and, and manipulate the tiles before your turn ends, and that's if you've earned any of these nature tokens. Mm. I haven't even told you how to earn those yet, but if you have any, you can spend as many of these tokens as you like on your turn to wipe wildlife tokens uh, as I just showed you. And that's okay. as many as you like, whatever you like. Mm. Let's say Lincoln just wants bears, so he spends his nature token and wipes these oh, okay. away. And then he draws two more things out of the bag, and he spends another token to do this and draws another one. You're never changing these habitat tiles. Okay. They're just the four that are there. You're only overpopulating or spending tokens to change the wildlife tokens. Now, when you are done spending your nature tokens or you there's no more over overpopulation, you now must choose your uh, tile and token for the turn. If, if this situation comes up again, even if you've already wiped for overpopulation, you can now do the three choice if you haven't already done, it, done right, it. Right. it is once per turn that you can choose to set aside three and draw them again. That is always a limit of once per turn. If you've already done that, you can't do it again. The, the other thing that you can spend your nature tokens on is to break the rule of you must always select a pair of a token and a tile. Mm -hmm. If you want to spend a nature token, you can take any one token oh, okay. and any one tile for your turn. You can take any, whatever looks good to you. And then you re you're going to place those, which I'll tell you about in just a second, and you're going to replace them from the bag. All these tokens that we use for overpopulation and manipulation go back into the bag. And at the end of your turn, there will always be four and four left for the next person to start their turn. Now, when let's say Lincoln takes a tile and a wildlife okay. token. Uh, he's going to place this tile on his personal array display. It can go anywhere. It just has to touch an adjacent tile face mm -hmm. like he's showing. The terrains don't have to match. Oh, okay. However, you're going to earn points for them matching at the end of the game, <laughs> so they generally, you do want to make some kind of match. 
you're going to get points at the end of the game for the biggest groupings of particular terrains. They're called habitat corridors in this game. Okay. So for instance, Lincoln is creating a river or water habitat there like that, and he may want to continue to do that by placing more water hexes next to that. Um, but you're not forced to. You can place that hex anywhere as long as it doesn't cover up any other hex that's already there or, uh, you know, it can't go not touching your right, right. Mm -hmm. it has to it has to connect to something that's already there then he places his bear or other wildlife token that he's chosen on any available hex in his display that it can go on so in this case i only have the one it, right and you're not forced to you do not have to place it there if you decide that you think a hawk goes better there i mean obviously a hawk is better for that at least I'm every it. tile has one, two, oh, or right. three Some terrains, are solitary, right? and every tile has one, two, or three animal types that it'll take. So if you place that bear, and on another turn you take a bear, but there's nowhere for it to place, this bear just goes back in the bag. Mm. If you can't or don't want to place your wildlife token, it goes back in the bag. Mm. But on every turn you will place the habitat tile that you take, and usually the wildlife token that you take. It doesn't have to go on the hex you just placed, it can go anywhere on your okay. board. But I will explain when we get to end game scoring very shortly why you want to place wildlife in certain conjunctions and lines. So uh, Lincoln has taken his tile and his wildlife and he's going to place a new uh, tile and wildlife for the next player and that's, that's the entire turn. Uh, we do that 20 times each. After we've done that 20 times each, the game will tell us the game is over because there won't be a new tile to create an array mm -hmm. of four out here. Sure. That's exactly how the game ends. I'm going to reshuffle all these sure. ones since I've shown these. Too? Uh, th those are fine. Okay. The, the wildlife I'm going to show a few more things on. Now, once we've all done that 20 times, how do we score? There are scoring cards for each type of wildlife and we'll display these out in the middle of the board so we can all look at them. We're using the suggested started easy scoring tiles, okay. or cards. There are four or five different ways to score each animal in the basic game, Okay. so they can get more complex. But we're gonna show you just the ones that they recommend you start with. So, grizzly bears. Grizzly bears score in pairs. So you want to have pairs of grizzly bears, Pairs of grizzly bears. Not bordering any other bears. These are mating bear pairs and they want privacy. <laughs> so another bear next to them would mess up that pair and, and make it not score. You need to have these pairs isolated from each other. And so you see on the card that a single pair anywhere in your land gets you four points and two pairs is 11 and three pairs nice. is 19 and so on. That is going to be hard. Yeah. It is, but you know, you either get a lot or you don't. That's bears. Let's just put this off to the side mm -hmm. here where we can see it. Salmon, these are very thematic because the salmon want to swim upstream in a long line. So the longer your connected line of salmon, the more you're going to score for it. Seven or more salmon in a single line connected through hexes will get you 25 points. Wow. Less for, long, for less long lines. Wow. wow. Elks score also for lines, but you can have multiple shorter lines to score. The longest scoring line of elk is four. These must be, as illustrated on the card, in a straight line. The salmon line can move around and mm. curve and kink. Okay. Elks must be in a straight line. The rules are rather specific that this is perfectly okay. This is, for instance, a line of four and a line of two elks, but I can't use this elk twice in scoring mm. two different two different lines. So they can touch, you just can't use one elk m in more mm -hmm. than one scoring line. You can look, but you can't touch? You can touch, but you just Poison can't split it in half. Okay. Got it? That's, so elk, that's elk scoring lines, straight lines. Foxes like biodiversity. So a fox could score up to five points for every individual fox if it touches the other five animal types. Okay. So this fox is worth five points. This fox is worth three because it mm. touches a bear, right. a fox, and an elk. Mm. Nice. Every fox scores that way one to zero to five, four, five points for whatever else is adjacent to it. And hawks. 
nice and simple. They like their own little hill or mountaintop to look over and hunt things on. So you want your hawk to be alone with no other hawks next to it. Ha. They'll fly over the fox and the elk next to them or whatever. You just don't want another hawk next to them. And, they, and you're gonna score for the m number of individual hawks that you have like that. So you Neat. want hawks spread out across your map okay. by without touching each well, other. By without themselves. other hawks. Without other hawks, yes. And that's, if you have eight hawks, that's 26 points. Wow. So that is the first and probably most major section of your score, those five types of animal scoring. Here's the score sheet. You score your five animal types and then you can sum them up here. The next major section of your scoring is the habitats and the habitat corridors, those big groupings that you're making in your personal display here. The five terrain habitat types are forests, mountains, prairies, wetlands, and rivers. Mm. Wetlands are kind of swamp looking, so that's how you can remember what they are. Here's a sample forest that I'm gonna score at the end of the game. So I've created this forest here, which touches these five hexes. I rotated this tile badly, let's say. I was trying to join these mountains together. So this forest, or if I had rotated it this way, is not part of this forest grouping. You're only scoring your biggest connected habitat type, all right? So even if this forest had another hex or two here, I'm just scoring five points for my biggest connected forest habitat. So you check each of the five habitat types and you score that many points for however many hexes it's on your biggest connected grouping. So I would score five points here for this forest. If that was the biggest a forest habitat out of the whole, all, ah, all three okay. of us, mm -hmm. <laughs> I score an additional three points for the majority win, essentially. Oh, okay. um, that number is slightly different in a two-player game, but we're playing the three to four-player game. You get three points for the largest in each terrain and one point for second place. <laughs> if, for instance, you two tie for the biggest group, uh, you each get two points and second place gets nothing. If three or more players tie for the biggest of any particular habitat group, they all get one point <laughs> and there's just no second place. So you score all five of those habitat types, number of hexes, so you're gonna score for all five of them, and then you score either three and one for first and second place, or two points if there was a two place tie, or one point if there was a three or four <laughs> place tie. Then the final scoring category is these nature tokens which are just one point each for being left over. And I forgot to tell you how you gain those. Mm -hmm. You'll notice that on each of our starting tile displays, there is a, a, single. a single terrain tile that has both a white arrow and a little nature token sure. symbol on yeah. it. And you'll see that those are gonna come up in the tile display also. Those are called keystone tiles. Whenever you place a wildlife token on them, Okay. You get a nature nice. token. Oh, nice. So you don't get it for placing this in your display. You get it for placing the animal the that animal lives there on, on it. That. And that's how you get these nature tokens, which allow you some versatility in adjusting but the display. But they do require me to do this. In other words, I have to put it in you that. You do have to connect it. In that orientation. No. no. Not that arrow that doesn't matter? That is not correct. Oh, really? No, it doesn't matter how you place it. The arrow just is reminding you that it's a keystone token. Ah, okay, cool. Is that because these are always just a single terrain type? Right. So it doesn't matter which way they're facing. Okay. The, the arrow is just an extra reminder that it's one of those keystone tiles. And that is everything. Those are all mm. the scoring uh, categories. We will add up our uh, scores and see who wins. There's a little chart in the back that tells you if you how well you did. Yeah. And um, there, are, of course, are uh, solo variants and lots of uh, achievements to go for. If you've wow. played this game several times, there are different ways to play and like aim for certain okay. goals. It's missing but a that's D the... on this red fox. No, that's a different one. Oh wait, isn't it missing an X? Isn't it two X's? I thought it was two D's, but maybe you're right. Maybe it's both. Oh, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, it could be. All right, uh, since I used a lot of these wildlife tiles. Oh, the start player is whoever has seen one of these animals most recently. I think Nikki was the, the queen of loving hawks, so Nikki's, she's probably... Nikki's a hawk sighter. Oh my gosh, she just... We, I think when we drove in after our trip, you saw a hawk. Yeah. Like, yeah. All right, Nikki. Then since you have no nature tokens to switch your choices and there's no other population, mm -hmm. you may choose a, a tile and token pair. Okay. And begin your game. I will do this one. 
And hmm. do that. I and think. are you going to place that salmon in oh. the one place it goes? Place the yeah, salmon right. in the river. Okay. Actually, why don't you do these yep, just for yep, future reference yep. and I'll do this. You got it. How about a hawk? That's a hawk. Okay, and well, I think I should do this one. Uh, it's a river over there, though, darn it. Um, but there's mountains in the way. But I want to do straight line. It would isolate that mountain range. It's al I'm already overthinking it, I think. <laughs> I so, know. Yeah. Uh, I guess I'll do that. That would be a straight line if I continued, right? So I'll put that there sure, and I get a, sure. get a token. You do get a nature token. It's against my nature to get that token, but I'm very happy. You, it was very natural oh looking boy. to me. Um, hey, salmon. There's a whole bunch of salmon to get started on the salmon run. Ooh, I'm going to take this. The lonely hawk. Because look at that. I can, I can get... I got multiple hawk thingies here. Put this water over here. Oh, that's great. And I will also get a nature token right away. Okay. One turn oh, over. Another. One turn over. One twentieth of the game. Okay. Hmm. Hmm, you say? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Salmony. Salmony goodness. I'll wait till she's for sure placed. That's pretty great. Oh, and I get a little nature guy because I placed a fox on there. Okay. <laughs> hmm. Well, sure would like to place his eagle or red tailed hawk. Hockey hawk. I will do that and take that and put that there. Got your elk conga line going. <laughs> That's right. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Some salmons. Now I kind of want a hawk. What do we got out there? I think this one looks pretty good. Sure does. Get this Give wetland you going right here. Too. Wetland and prairie. And I'll get another nature token for a hawk. Oh. Round two. Now we're on a three. Turn three. Okay. Boy, I think it's going to go real fast, and I'm, I'm only going to be like, I know, like, partially well, doing a couple you, of these. You, right. You, you don't need to worry about all five of them, probably. Right. There are 20 of each type of animal in the bag. The okay. animals are evenly distributed. That is good. Um, there are 85 of these tiles, but we took out some, so we don't know if the terrains are evenly distributed. Okay. And there we go. The bear. Ah, oh, thanks. The bear. bear, bear, bear. The bear. And there's a bear with the bear. The bear stuff, bear stuff, bears. Okay. Wetlands. This is pretty good right here. It lets me, I, I isolated my river though, but um, it's okay. You might still be able to get around to it. Yep, that's what I'm thinking. Mm -hmm. If I could just do this, then I'll let, the, well, that'd be the end of the yellow stuff there for that group anyway. And then I will put the pink guy on the only place like Nikki had earlier that yeah. she could place yeah. it on. Rivers don't have it all the time. Cool. <laughs> you did it for me. Do I want? I might want that fox. No kidding. Yep. Sure. I'll take another nature token. It's against your nature to take Sometime another Sometime I'm going to use these nature tokens. Uh, whoop. Bear. bear. It was going to be a bear either way you went there. Bears. Yes, it was. I drew two, but they were stuck together. So <laughs> yes. you can sweep those bears out and, so, and look at some new animals if you like. Or if you like bears, keep bears. Uh, it's the only one with water, but then I'd have two bears hanging out. Well, not necessarily. Okay, I'm not going to do that, but I will do this. More bear. Wow. And a bear's hanging out there, so another nature token, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. Let's wipe these. Wipe them. I'm hoping that there'll be something else that would be good for How me. How about two elks and a... Elk, elk, slam elk. Okay. Um, slam and salmon. Um, oh, it's not a slam, it's a hawk. There's already a slam one out here. Yep. I want to cry because it's really not a great tile. <laughs> um, but I will go here and put the hawk here. 
And that gives me another one of those. And it is the next one. Hey. We haven't seen a lot of mountain range stuff. There's this no, there's one. there's that one. I think I might take that one. That gives me a salmon, but I don't have a lot of salmon place yet. But this fits pretty nice right there. Sure does. I'm jealous. Yeah, I like it. Mm -hmm. right. Even though hey, the same mountains. Is not really we took the one mountain, spot. we got another mountain. Oh, I There's forgot. Only ever going to be one. Only one mountain that is. There can, only, there can be only one. How about a hawk? Hmm. Come on. Come on. I could change. Interesting though, the, the tiles going back in the bag. Mm -hmm. like yeah, well could, if, if people aren't doing right. those, they could it could get a lot of them, right? Like there's one bear out right now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Speaking of mm -hmm. bears. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, I'll, I guess I'll do this, which gives me, boy, I've got a lot of water. And then I'll do that and put it here. Kind of wipes out the little hawk, isolation-y, hawky thing. Okay, that's all I'm doing. Maybe I want the bear. The bear, the bear, the bear. You need to get another one, but they're going to be coming up. I'm going to take the fox. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And he'll go here. Okay. It's not the best spot, but it's an okay spot. Nikki P. Fox. 15 more turns. <laughs> okay. It's a Jackie Fox. It's Fox Network. Your bear pair. My bear pair. Oh, bear pair. I got a bear pair. Don't don't put any more bears there. I know, no more bears. In that pair. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Come on. I know. You, you I know. know me. I know. What can you? You can't even help yourself anymore. It's, yeah, I right. can't deny who I am. <laughs> hey, it's look at that nature. one. Ooh. <laughs> How can that salmon live in the plains? I don't know. So this game. Has lost all realism. Underwater. Uh, <laughs> right, underwater uh, river going mm -hmm. under those planes? Okay, I, I'll buy it. So if I take this, can I put this here and then here? I mean, is that okay? You, you can, but here's why that's a bad idea. The salmon run cannot be adjacent to any other salmon run, right? They can't run alongside each other. And every salmon, like the card is showing, can only be adjacent to at maximum two other salmon. Ah. So if you do this, that is run is complete and you can't build off of it anymore because then a salmon would be adjacent to three other salmon and not two. It's a very specific sort of way to build a winding path, but once it loops back in on itself like that, it's done. Like it can't, okay. can't it's expand. A little, it's a little there. tiny salmon. Run. It, that Ew, could be a little okay. salmon. And in fact, that's eight points if you just did that. Sure. But you cannot expand on that. Hmm. That run, I can do another to, run. Correct. See, I have a three little weirdo thing Correct. Well, you don't even have to put a salmon on this yeah. space, right? Or this one, that's what's great about the options, right? right? I mean, all these have right. options. That could be a I fox space. Because I looked at it and it doesn't yeah. show them It doesn't show them touching way, each yeah. other. So that was a good question that okay. I didn't clarify. That's okay. Uh, let me see here, what should I do? For a Klondike bar. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that was what was in my head. Uh, <laughs> dumb. <laughs> I know. I know, I, know. I, know. I, I hear it though, it's right there. Wow. Okay, well, this isn't great, but let's see. Remember, you can wipe the tokens, or you can do yeah, your swap. Yeah, you can, you, you can you take, can one take of this each. and this, or Sure. Or you can just wash the tokens yeah, and not, see what, you know, if you're looking for, that for yet, but elks. I know. I'm just saying. We all have lots of tokens. We all got pine cones to spend. Pine cones. Uh, They're magic. I think I'll they do are. this one. And I'll place this here. Yeah. Makes sense. Yeah. Ooh. Nice forest. A berry bear forest with a bear. With a, a bear. He was a scary bear. He was a hairy bear. Yeah, yeah. That oh, was hairy bear, scary bear, I think. Okay. Unfortunately, mm -hmm. my mm -hmm. forest is not a 
adjacent to where my bears go. Time to unpack my adjectives. Mm -hmm. This okay. is not great. Look at this. This is actually two things now. It'll only connect if I, I come around this way. I hear you. I've got the same sort of problem. <laughs> I've built my... I kind of feel like you shouldn't stress this too much. These are like incidental, well, uh, incidental you and you go know. for the big points for these things if you Actually, can. I'm going to try. A bear. A bear and a bear. a bear. Where are you going to put that bear? I think I'm going to put him... In it's not air. fair giving a guy a shot Can't down there. there. I'm going to wait here. He's, bear. He's thinking. Bear. Bear there. Okay. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do, do, do. I'm going to unpack my adjectives, Nikki B. Okay. I'm going to pay uh, a pine oh, cone. Oh, you, you got these together. Is that bad? It is not great, but, it, no, it, but it, just, it just lets you just do it on the other side. So one of them is going to get maybe four, and one of them will probably get five. No, they can both be they five. They can both get five, because yeah. they both yep. score for an adjacent fox. That's cool. I'm going to pay a pine cone to take this fox and this tile. Tile? Okie dokie. Fair. I like it. I'm going to put this fox place. here, yeah. then I'm going to put this here. Here. Okay. Oh, three salmons. You can clear. Yeah, I might. I want one, though. I know. Uh, All right. I think I want this one. And I'm going to put it together like this. Mm, that's quite a river. And then I'm going to go here for my salmon run. And then I'm done. Look, see, look, I'm just doing this. It's kind of bizarre, actually. You're making a bowling alley? Yeah. My pins. Put my yeah. pins. My pins! That actually works for me. So do I? Yeah, I'll take that. Take this. Hey, hey, put that bear back. No, thank you. No, no thank I'll you. Take the bear and a pine cone. Pine and I made bear. a pair of bear. A pair of bears. I made a bear pair. Bear pair. Elk? No. Mm, there's another bear. Um, I just want to make sure I mm -hmm. understand the uh, fox uh, deal. There's not enough animal types to have it it's be completely here, right? different. Correct. The most it can score is five. This one is scoring four. If you put a fox here or here, yeah. it scores five, which is the most okay. a fox can score. Oh. Right? So uh, could I put another bear here? Yeah, yeah and a fox absolutely. Yes. Here? Okay. Right. The sixth one doesn't matter. In fact, even it's, even, it's on the example card. It actually does have two bears, and one yeah. of them is faded out because it doesn't okay. count twice. I just want to make sure yep. I was thinking that was correct, understanding that correctly. So I'm going to do that. Oh, it's another elk tile, though. But I'm not getting the elk. Yeah, I'm not really getting tokens. the elk line either. There haven't been that many. Lincoln scooped up three yeah. of them. Yeah. There's uh, 16 more. They'll be coming soon. Around the mountain? Mm hmm. When they come, that's what elks do. <laughs> <laughs> They're like, here I come. I'm a bear. I'm an elk. Elk, elk. I can't do that. That's dumb. Okay. <laughs> um, I know, uh, like, uh, right, no. whatever her we'll internal conversation is. I get is, you. I know it. Um, okay. Salmon. Let's do sa salmon, but which salmon? What salmon is the right salmon? This salmon is the right salmon. Okay. Look at that. Another mountain. Hey, an elk. an elk. Hey, I For don't Lincoln's know conga line. Yeah, I guess. Oh, he's even got a space for it already. Yeah, that's oh. why I, I actually planned ahead for that. I don't so like it. I will put that I there. Don't, I don't think planning ahead should be legal. <laughs> hey, I don't have any bear. Well, I do have a bear space now, but there's the elk now. All right. Do I want that elk? Do I want more bear? More bear. Nikki likes bear. <laughs> Nikki likes bear. Well, she she talked about bear. It's like love lamp. <laughs> yeah. Love lamp. <laughs> Brick. Brick. Brick love lamp. Yeah, I'm going to take bear. Sorry, bear. Mm, there's he still doesn't care. 15 more to go. Well, they aren't all going to come out. That's, that's right. They aren't all going to come out. They're definitely all going to Shouldn't be saying they're all going to come out. But that's why you can use your nature tokens to wipe, wipe, wipe if you really want to like, dig See for one? a bear. Yeah. If you need that last bear or elk or whatever. You can yeah, go what, for one point or multiple points to get like a big score. It would right. Be great, yeah. If it's going to take your elk thing from like, you know, 9 to 15 points or whatever that is, 13. 
13. A little tiny for my bad eyes. A little eyes. bit, yeah. Okay. Also, I'm a little far from you. Elk. What the elk? What the elk? <laughs> Is that pretty good? It looks like it. It doesn't do my bear stuff. Oh, wait. It's this would probably be maybe better. Uh. My bear stuff. <laughs> my bear <laughs> stuff. Okay, well, there we go. Hey, Nikki, does... Did you oh. mean to do that? That's not no, really a good rotation not really. for that. Yeah, I'm it's just not really focusing a... on the animals too much. <laughs> okay. okay, there right. we go. That's, Here we go. Next nice. one. Right. Hey, hey a bear. bear a bear there. with a bear. <clears throat> bear bear. Bear bear terrains. Oh, wait. Um, I get another one of these, though, for placing this. You do. I think I might take that bear. Let's see. Uh, or I was thinking about a hawk. Hawk's pretty great, too. But you need a lot of hawks to get points. We're already at two. I know, but what is it? What's the next one? Eight, eight, eleven, 11 fourteen. 14. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's if somebody goes for that, it's it's twenty six points. When you I know, eight. but that's a, that's like uh, like a third of your animals. It's a lot. That's true. Uh, and I do already have a bear sitting there. All right, but I was thinking about the hawk too. Also, the forest is not that bad for me because I'm, I'm going to take this. But I will do some hawks later. So this will go here, and I will bear pair over here. Mm. Plus, Nikki likes bears, and I kept it from her. You did. Yep. Sorry. I well, feel bad about it. Do you really? <laughs> no. I'm sure you don't. Um, <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Decisions are now getting a little... Mm. Do I want that one there? Salmon is good. Mm, Wh especially grilled up with butter. Which salmon to take? <laughs> On a cedar plank. <laughs> what matches up with my terrain? Both of them. No, this one does better. Okay, we'll do this. We'll do... Th that? That's weird. And then another salmon there. A bear. I need a different type of animal over there to try to work on a fox if they ever show up again. Yeah. Yeah. So, would need to be not an elk and not, it could be another fox, so I guess I'll take that. Oof. And that's okay. And then I'll do that. Start my start a bear pair, maybe if I'm lucky. Hey, another bear. An elk. And an elk. Do I want elk or do I want hawk? <laughs> elk isn't bad. But the hawk I've got the spot for. Alright, if I take that one. I'll take this one. Okay. Actually, I'll put the hawk here since that doesn't interfere yep. if I get an elk. Nelk. Nelk. Wait, oh, that. And it's, fi it's fine. It's fine. It's not gonna. <laughs> it just doesn't score for the fox, unfortunately. Down there. It's f I know, but. Oh, you're trying to build the elk strip. It elk just line. doesn't really. Uh, no, I'm just trying to. Yeah, I'm just keeping the elk line open in case. All right, that's fine. Sam! Okay. I want that elk, but I don't know if I want to take the tile that's with the elk. I think that I do. <laughs> so I will take this, and we are going to put that with that water. Pretty good down there with all that water that you have. But then it, my bear, bear pair. Yeah, she needs oh, a bear. I see well, you, you can't do two bear pairs. And, oh, you're splitting that one with I'm an elk. splitting okay. it with bear. an elk right there. Gotcha. Okay. Bear pair. Fox. Hey, fox, if I want it. Mm -hmm. Boy, well, bear is good because then it gives me another thing for the fox that I will be building on here. So I'll do that. I have room in my... So three types of animals. Animals. Elk. 
with a mountain. I'm going to spend a nature token and mm -hmm. take this elk and this tile. Okay, for sure. Let me see how it <laughs> lines up here. Yeah, I'm pretty sure. Okay. Uh, Yeah, sure. Good enough. Okay. Nikki P. Oh. Terrain wise, terrible. Mm. Yeah, not really. I will take this. I will take that there and. Right? Or did I screw that up? You're okay. Now you have. You have yeah, five. Yeah, okay, there. I did it correctly. And this will go here. Okay. All mountains. Give me a give me a tile there. A, t a disc. Hey, it's a lot of fish. How do you feel about fish? Um, I'm for them. Let's <laughs> clean the fish. <laughs> All right. The fish, the fish are set aside for three new aminals, and they are elk, elk salmon, 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 and fox. Okay, well, fox is good. So I will do that with another fox, which limits me. Hmm. And I will put the fox here. Okay. So I'll go with, with the doubt. Oh, it's a little, oh, I kind of like that tile, actually. It's a nice tile. It bridges that. Uh, that's oh, what, no. that's oh, yeah, it does. Yeah, perfectly. Bridges the that perfectly. perfectly already linked. Uh, that one would have, too, but I do like this with an elk. With the elk? Elk on the shelf. It's the hawk. <laughs> hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not good. Mountain's okay here if bear come up. I don't know if they're going to come up. And then hawk, or, um, I really kind of want the bear there, but it looks like I need it to be the bear, though. For let me think about that. Maybe I do a t disc to take something else, but there's not a lot of choices. I don't really have a lot yeah. of salmon spaces. Mm. Yeah. Let's do that one. Okie dokie. <laughs> There you go, there's some, oops, right into my mess here. What a mess. Okay. See, this is like, the, you, there are opportunities to get lots of these on the yes, board. Yes, I know, I, I mean. I, I didn't want one, unfortunately. I mean, I would like to get one, but I don't really have, ideally, the place to put it. To be separate from everything. Okay, yeah. I'm, um, I'm cycling a nature token, essentially. I'm spending one to take this and this, but I'm getting right it right back, back yeah. because I'm placing. Sure. I might actually put it down here at the very bottom. And I got my token back. Okay. Put a tile out. Yep. I'll put a bear there. Bear. Oh, temptations. <laughs> that would be really good to do that. And then to do that. No. Yes. It has to be. Ugh. Okay. Gonna do that. I'm gonna place a bear here. That gets me a, a pine cone. And then I will put this. Yeah, that's good. Mm. Okay. Okay, well, I need a bear for a pair. Bear pair. If I take that one. Put it. Need some variety, flexible variety here. It is not going to be good for that. This helps make these group as a mountain range, so I'll do that. And that's pair for the bear if that happens. <laughs> right. And then I'll put the bear here for a pair. And that is that. Bear pair. Bear pair. Mm. 
I'm going to spend a token again. Mm -hmm. I'm going to take this Feller and this that elk. One. Go there. Oh wait, now oh, that elk doesn't... That, that messes my elk line up if I put it there. Will I be able to find a mountain elk spot? Let's see if I can. I am a mountain elk. I'm hoping for a mountain elk. I want to find some mountain well, elk. You, you got a forest elk. I don't know if that'll help you the next round. But I want a mountain elk. All right. Uh, and we need to um, just to announce to everybody, since none of us have thrown away any wildlife tiles, not placed any on our turn, mm. you can tell by the number of tiles on your board that we have six rounds left. Okay. okay. We have taken 14 turns. Okay, P. Yes, sir. Ooh. There's a stinky bear, and there's an elk. I want both of those. Um, stinky bear is going to give me a second set, or for elk line. Well, second set's better, so stinky bear it is. Stinky bear. Stinky bear. He can't help it. He eats fish all day. Hmm. Bear, bear. I'll put it here. That might work. Burr, no, no. Just ridiculous, Nikki. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much. Okay. Well, I kind of want that bear. Hmm. Hmm. Well, I, do I want to pay for something else that might be good? So let's go with that. And do that so that the fox is at least mm -hmm. scoring with some points. Hey! Oh, you took elk, exactly. you took my mountain elk, but you, you left me one, so I, I can live with that. Did you want the bear or something else? I no. think I think I don't need to like spend for the elk. There'll be more later. Do I want where do I want this bear? Seven, ten, thirteen, fourteen. What? Elks already. Out. I know, but I mean, I've got okay. five more turns. Okay. They just have to come out. Oh, 14 out. Yes. Yeah. I'm not that worried about it. I'll, I'm not going to spend it on for it. I'll take the bear. How many bears are out? Three. Well, you know Nikki wants this. She just talked about wanting that elk. I know, but there's... Okay, okay, okay. I'm, I'm just warning you. Right. Just like you did <laughs> with there was six turns left. There's a... That's a four-point elk. And let's see if it costs me the game. All right. It won't. But. I'm going to put this bear here. Bear, bear. Okay, Nikki. Bear, half pair. Okay. Oh, do you want to wait? Do you want to clear hawks? Nope. Okay. Hey, she wants an elk. What a surprise! I know. I'm a mystery. Yes, I know. Do that for a mountain. Yep. Okay. Do you want to clear hawks? Uh, I sort of want the salmon, but I don't have a space for a salmon. So it's yes, a space let's salmon. Let me clear the hawks. No, it's no space. Wait, hold on. Salmon. I think. Maybe. What would a space salmon look like? Mm. Space! It's a space salmon. Space pants. Oh, you know, I, I did this whole thing for the mountain here and it does not connect. Oh, well. It does. Oh, no, it does. It's here. Yeah, it does. I, it, yeah. It's so hard to see that. They, I see yeah, that as water. Yeah. Okay, I'm okay. I thought I'd build all that and, and blew it. Um, if I do a hawk, do a hawk, do a hawk. Is there a place I can put it that would be good? I guess this is pretty good. That's so that's what I'll do. Make this a bigger forest. Run, forest, run. <laughs> Let's see if I want to put that someplace else, though. And am I going to place it? Elk. What the elk? Because <laughs> <sighs> people want the elks now. Um, Elks Lodge. I'll do this, and I'll do this, and I'll put a tile out. All right. The hawk tiles do not line up with the hawk animals. I could take that fox tile. I sort of need a bear spot, so I could also get a bear pair. I think I'm going to take the bear pair. I'm spending the token to do this. Yeah, it's a better But then I get it back because I'm putting the bear on this. Mm -hmm. Much better choice. Yeah. Okay. 
Yeah, you don't necessarily need the ultra again to just get in bear pairs. But I mean, I st if I can draw eight tiles looking for the elk, I may do it at the end of the game if it doesn't come up, you know? Right. I believe we have four more turns. No, oh, none of those are very good tiles for me. Well, I shouldn't say that. I'm focusing on one area and not looking at there everything you go. Look else. At, look at all five things. <laughs> yes. Look at all five of your habitats for humanity. Okay, I'm going to turn this in. Yes. Do I even want to do that? <laughs> it's not necessary. I mean, it'd be good, but it's not uh, necessary. Let's do uh, this. Boop. Did that have a little leaf on it? No. Okay. That one, the solitary hawk. Okay, I'll take this. Mm hmm. <laughs> Competing, maybe I go over here with that. <laughs> it's just this is actually then, more likely yeah, I can place that. Yeah, because you'd be that right next it, yeah. to another hawk. And then um, oh, you know right. what? I'm just going to spend that to do that because sure. I'll just get it back and do that. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Oh, my elk. Milk. That spot's not bad. I'm just going to take that elk thing. I think. Got my elk spot. Elk snout. I'm surprised we haven't wiped any tiles off of here. Just that one time, I think. Okay, I'm gonna turn this in. Mm -hmm. Does that matter? <laughs> I don't know, does it? Not really. <laughs> okay. Well, yes it does. Here, Okay. I'm taking this one and this one. Okay. Cool. Hey, three foxes. Right. Okay. So if you don't like foxes, you can see some other animals. Right. So I'm gonna have to shift here, but I'm gonna do this to give myself a little bit of space down here to continue my salmon run. And then I will make sure I have enough room. And I'm going to spend one to buy that and place it like this in hopes that maybe it turns into the mountains with that. Yeah, could, and then sure. take that one. Hey, four foxes must be cleared. Wow. Must be cleared. Oh, yep. I kind of wanted the foxes. Well, they'll come back. Maybe. Yeah. Salmon, bear, hawk, bear. bear. All the bears came out now. Now, I don't need bear pair. Will I change the animals again, or do I like hawk? Hawk like you. No. I don't have a hawk spot unless I spend a token. I don't really like the elks, so I think I'm gonna spend to get a hawk space. Oh, there's two choices. Yeah, but unfortunately none of them are like perfect for me and that they they don't perfectly expand double terrains and give me the perfect hawk oh, space. Gosh, you're right. You've got your hawks in there. My hawks time. are too close, exactly. Yeah. Otherwise that would place very nicely. But I am gonna do that anyway. I'm gonna spend a token. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna take this hawk and I'm either gonna expand my river, my wetlands, or my forest. I think forest makes the most sense. Okay. Well, we only have six more tiles. Right, so we all get two more turns. Yep. Okay. But I can't put it here, so I gotta put it here and hope that that meets up and that hawk goes there. Okay? Yeah, isn't that a bummer? It would have been great if you could have it there. I know, I just, uh, you know, you know how hawks are. Oh, yeah, they're, right? they're fussy. <laughs> right, they're fussy. All right. Yeah. Two more turns, Nikki. Yeah. It's all coming together now. Mm. All right, comes together. so another okay. token, and I'm doing these two. Mm -hmm. And it's going to be kind of ruining the landscape, but there we okay. go. Hmm. Well, looks like this is the best choice with this to do this. It's a pretty good salmon run. Okay. All right. Elk. 
Elk Mountain. That was yeah. one you got earlier that you needed. Yeah, I got it. Though. And there's the foxes. All right. What do I want? That's like two points. I think I just take the hawk and stick it anywhere. Cause that's you can take that I'll hawk take and, that stick, hawk it and stick it anywhere. I'll show you where you stick it. Because that's what gives me the most points. Oh gosh, yeah, it's 18 points. It's a four point jump if you do it. Yeah, but I mean, almost anything is a three point jump is the thing. Although I don't, I'm not going to make another bear pair most likely. I could drop a fox for two. Yeah, the, the hawk is my best move. It just doesn't like give me a fantastic terrain jump. Right. Uh, and it doesn't even it doesn't even add on to my fox pair unfortunately. But I'll do that. And your last turn, madame? Shirley. You don't call me Shirley. Ah, ha, ha. Here we go. Done. Boo. You wanted that. <laughs> pair. Oh yeah, that's a good one. Is that does nope. that hook? No. Nope. Okay. No, let's do not. Yeah, it does. Whatever. I'll put it up here. Yay. Put it wherever you. Okay. You can throw it away. Actually. Yeah. Yeah, because this is a bigger. This is a bigger. Right. Mountain range. Okay. How about a hawk? Mm, I'm gonna pay the one to do this. Nice. And then I'll go here. And then there you go. Okay, uh, there's a hawk and I would have nowhere to put it and no way to make a space. So, is that the, oh, that's a good fox space. Okay, I'm gonna take this and this by spending my last token. Yeah, we all kind of. And if I drop it right in there, that's a good fox spot. It's fox spot. Okay. okay. Oh, and I get the token back because it's a single space. Nice. Yep, all right. Um, there's no more thing to do. We've all done our 20 turns. That's the end of the game. Now. Oh, I think I get uh, a token too, because I did this. Oh, sure. The scoring seems a little hard to wrap your head around at first, but the score sheet is in a very logical and easy order. Yeah. So let me just put some initials down here. A, N, and L. So, bears. How many bear pairs does Aaron have? Three. Three. It's and that 18, is worth? 19. 19 points. 19 points. How many bear pairs does Nikki have? Same. Three. Okay, 19 points. One. One is mm -hmm. worth four points? Four points. points. Yeah. All right. Elk. I have a four length elk line, which is? 13 points. 13 points. Nikki, same? 13 yep. points. Now yeah. you could have multiple elk lines. Does 13 as well. Okay, we all got the same for that. Salmon. I have a one single, one length salmon run for two, two points. Nikki has a four, four length for salmon 12. for 12. Sorry that my right-handedness is covering the score sheet most of this time. I have a seven for 25. Nice, 25. 25. All right, hawks. I have six individual hunting hawks wow. on their own. That's 18. 18. Thank you. Nikki, any hawks? I have three, three which is nine eight. or eight. Yeah. Eight, sorry. And yeah, the have, numbers are a bit hard to read. I have four away. for 11. Four for 11. And fox. All right, this is a little harder, so. This fox is worth three points because he touches three mm -hmm. types of animals. This one is also worth three because he touches hawk, fox, and bear. And this one is also worth three because he touches bear, fox, and hawk. So I have three foxes that all happen to be worth three points, which mm. is nine. Yours are worth, this one is worth two, okay. two types. This one is worth one, two, three, four types. He just doesn't okay. touch salmon. That should be all. And that one, one, so that was six so far. And yes, this one is all, 11. including two elks. So she got 11 for her three foxes. Right. And then I have uh, one for five and then one for four. One, two, Fox. three, four. You sure do. So nine, nine. points out yep. of just two foxes is not bad. Nine. All right, so you can see from our wildlife subtotal, that's the W right here. Wow. Our scores are very close. <laughs> one we have yeah. difference uh, Nikki 63, Lincoln 62, and Aaron 61 after scoring all the wildlife types. So now we're gonna score terrains. And this is also pretty easy. Uh, first look at your rivers. Okay. Uh, wait, no, I'm sorry. This is mountains. Uh, the terrains are a little confusing. Mountains. So your largest connected mountain terrain chain, habitat corridor. Right. Uh, so it all has to touch a course, are, right? What are these? This, this no. is the these mountain. These little spikies? No, no. no. that's just okay. part of the rivers. Got it. So 
I have a pretty huge one. I have nine for my I mountains. I have nine for mine as well. You do? Yeah. Dang. Yeah. So, so one thing I could kind of focus on. Yeah, I guess. Bummer. I didn't know that you were focusing that much on it. Five. So uh, you just get that many straight points. And then because Lincoln and I tied for the most, we both get two additional bonus points for the most in this game. Interesting. Uh, next is forests. My biggest forest is six hexes. Mine's five. Lincoln's five. Nikki's four. 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 So that means I'm going to get three, and Lincoln gets one bonus point for second place on forests. Plains, uh, prairies are the yellow one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Nice. Oh, I got eight. I got three. Three. Oh, I think that's, I think I that's broken up. Uh, uh, this is know. broken from this, I think, and yes. Oh yeah. So unfortunately, it's one, it's two, six, I think. three, four, five. five. Yeah, that's good. That's good for I second. Don't oh yeah, runs. that one is. I don't no. think it runs. It almost that. looks like it does. It? Oh, you got. You're so it's close. Five. Here, yeah. Five, and you had three, right? Yeah. You had three. Uh, three for first for me. One for second for Nikki. Wetlands, which are the swampy things. I have five. I have uh, three, is all I ever have, three. Yeah, me too. So uh -huh. no, unfortunately, you do not get ties for second. And now water, where I have a total of two in my largest group. I have four. This is uh, rivers. Four. Yeah, we both have you four. both get two points for sharing that victory. Well, that was what I was shooting for originally to try to make. Big. That was the one I gave up on quickly. All right. Habitats and majorities, subtotals were 41, 24, Oof. and 29. Yeah. yeah, I had way more majorities than I thought. I did terrible. not know I was doing that well on the habitats. And then Lincoln and I both got one point for yeah. leftover nature tokens. Final scores, 103 for me, 92 for Lincoln, 87 for Nikki. Yeah. Super it's close on animals, close, but I, I got a jump I'm on the habitats. I'm surprised with all the habitats I'm that you had that you didn't have more than that. I'm surprised. But I did I not did realize I was doing that well. I obviously didn't have you had any two rivers nines. Points. Did you not? Th this was I, nine. I think and a nine and an eight. A nine, eight, a six, and a five is pretty big. I did not think that the. Oh, yeah, but you know, yeah. I got, I got three points for three of those and two points right. for one of them. So those were pretty big wins. I, I just managed to link up all these trains, and I didn't think that that was going to be that huge of a scoring difference, but it right. managed to be so. Uh, so what did you think of this game, Nikki? Nikki. Yeah. <laughs> Hey, guess what? What do I always it's say? It's a tiling game. Yeah. You like it? Oh, do you like tiling games? Yeah, yeah. we Didn't should play you more know of those. That? <laughs> we should play games that you like. <laughs> no, I like. I did like it. Um, I I like that you get the little p pine cone things to to adjust, so you're not just taking. You have to take this. Set, you're not or trapped. This set or this you set. have options. You have s some options, but you don't. You can't run the whole show. Um, I like that there are different cards uh, for points at the end. My weird thing is, is uh, this is the second time I've played mm -hmm. it, and I have a tendency to focus on e either the animals or the terrain, and it really reflects in the uh, scoring. In the score, sure, because you've got three times as much for the animals. Yeah, exactly. Did she have the most animals as well as we did? She did. She yeah. had by well, one point. By one point, but she also got the lowest part for the terrain. Right, right. right. And I just, I don't know, I can... You gotta, Only focus on you gotta one juggle or the more, other. You gotta juggle more things at once. I don't know what's wrong well, with the, me. The, the shape of the tiles are, you know, where it kind of gets you. You know what I mean? You think they are a little, especially seeing these type of connections. Yeah. But you know, it's clearly that's the edge of the river, right? It is something different, though. It looks similar. It's, it's a little too. I almost feel like they should do the edge of the river dirt, so it's brown, mm -hmm, right? Mm -hmm. Because then it would be clearer that it's like, not. Like if you just see it, you know, because I think Nikki had that once, and it was like. Well, I oh. did ask the question: Is this yeah. mountain range? Because yeah, it's great. That it would probably be should be cool. brown. And there's a little too much <laughs> blue in the mountains. I think. I think they could have made the yeah, yeah divisions it's a, it's a little, little clear. But I I really like the way it works. I do too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I do. And the challenges of the types, the way these, I mean, they change. Do they, are they different in the same? No. No, they're just um, like several but, they, but the way that they scale up and stuff. I mean, I, I end up being the only guy really going for the salmon, which mm -hmm. is mm -hmm. really well, kind of Well, got a decent line. I, just, I yeah. just had to give up on that right away. Right. And um, I don't know, what were the discs left? I mean, there's a bunch, right? There's 20 of each. There's 20 of each. So, so yeah, there's still a lot of discs left. Okay. Right. A lot of bears, a lot of salmon, a lot of foxes. 
Uh, look at how many Fox are on the board. Eleven. Yeah. No, yeah. not even that. Eight. No. Yeah, so that's there's, a fi there's, there's fistful in there's here. There's a dozen foxes yeah. left yeah. out of like. Yeah. Well, yeah. to my mind, anyway, they're the harder one to score. Um, I don't know. You did pretty to good get on like that. the full. I only got one full fox. Right, so did I. All the way around. But it, I got. I think it. you got eleven for yours, and I got nine, and Aaron got nine or eight or something. For which your foxes? Fox. I got nine for my three foxes. They did. They were yeah. not well optimized, but yeah. Well, that's still good though. I mean, right. you, you want to at least get a three, because you know that's what's great about these. A single placement in the right place gives you a good amount of points. Right. Even if even if it's not perfect, it still is like a nice yeah. middle score. Yeah. I, that's what I do like about foxes. You didn't have to constantly. Same with these. Them. That's where I think you actually won the game. Was this right? Well, yeah. Because you, even though you did really well on those, it's still just like nine or ten points ahead of me, right? Right. Or is it eleven points uh, on the hawks? No, just in total, eleven points. So yeah. Oh, yeah. you jump. From 14. you went to twenty six, which is the most you no, can no. score. No, I got eighteen. Oh, eighteen. 18. I, I, I got seven more in hawks. Yeah, than still you. that's great. Eighteen is fantastic because you guys mm -hmm. did the max and bear, or not max, but you both got one. We were one short of yeah bears. nineteen yeah. bears yeah. In, in the bears, yeah, and you got eighteen big. for that. That's yeah. a lot. I got mm, it is tw twenty five is pretty great too. You definitely uh, but then only like twelve of them. You almost need to. Else. You need to skip an animal. I'd say. Oh yeah. You want to focus hard on something and yeah. maximize those points for like four bear pairs or that very long salmon run, right? Like, you you cannot get top points for every type of sure. animal. Sure. It was. So you it was the, the rough thing is just getting like the like the elk the are, layout are tough. Correctly, you know, yeah. it's like I only did it once. I was like, well, I'll go for it because it wasn't. You guys weren't going for it initially. And you, we all did it, right? So it just came out as a wash. Nobody was able to do a second run to make that valuable. And then I never got another bear. That was a bummer. I know there's, so that's 6, 12, 15. 12, 15. That's quite so a few. there's five more yeah. out there still. And, but and that's again, a lot of we tiles left. We didn't use our tokens to dig for tiles. Like if you really needed a it's bear, tough though, right? you could wash It was tiles better yeah. to just do the little pair, you know, because that saying, was what gave know, me this, If that right? was a big, like, you know, look at this blast well, the bear best pair I could have gotten another. Points. So eight yeah. points. I would have gained seven if I was just able to do one more. Right? That's Seven's good. Big, that's a pretty big that's jump. That's big, yeah. Um, just, I, really, I like that it's very easy to read. I, I don't think that the terrain art is gorgeous to look at or super easy to you know see every border, but this is pretty easy to read. When you look at your options on a turn, mm -hmm. you go, okay, well, this is a prairie tile, so yeah. it can go here, here, or here, and it's a salmon thing, so I can add it to this run, or I can ignore that and just put yeah. it over here, and I know where, you know, like, you know what your options are. The iconography mm -hmm. and the way that your board flows is real easy to pick up and read when you're, you know, this is my first game, and I knew what I was doing by the second or third game. Right. Yeah. So it's a, it's real easy to pick. It's easy to teach. It's easy to pick up. You know, it's, the other it's exciting real easy thing to is like. This. Getting, yeah, I just want to look at, like, I mean, that it could, you can rhyme up the com complexity in the game by just choosing there's, different. Like I mentioned, there's solo variants. We're not going to explain them all. Okay. Right. But there and there's achievements for getting certain like types of terrain or certain numbers of animals in each thing. But like just to look at the salmon for the different way that they score, there are uh, short run salmons where you're just rewarded for runs of three, four, and five only. Interesting. There is a. Short run salmon where you're rewarded for one to five and that's it. Same rules though, where they have to go in lines of not touching more than two salmon each. And the hmm. Chinook salmon wants to be surrounded by different animals, kind of like the fox. Scores huh. per salmon and per animal adjacent to run of at least three. So you need a run of at least three, but then they have to be touching... Uh, they get one per salmon and one per animal that's adjacent to it. Mm. So there's those are the different ways to score the salmon. We used all the basic scoring in sure. our first game. But yeah, having a random scoring assortment is going to obviously give you a lot of replayability. I just, yeah, I like that it can get more complex yeah. and yeah. change so that it's not just the yeah. same game. Yeah. It isn't really the same game. I mean, it is, but you're mm. just you're, you're right. changing your goals and stuff like that yeah. kind of uh, drastically. I see the sets too. So this is a set B, C, and D. We played with oh, set right. A. Oh, right. Uh, right. You can just randomly choose them or you can just choose no. all the Bs or all the Cs. There's also a family variant which makes it easier for little kids. I believe that is just scoring for all clumps of animals. Or not not all animals together, but like just all your salmon as one clump, all your bears as one okay, clump. Okay, yeah. Your, so the, there's a very easy variant that basically does away with these. So you just have that for that, then the terrain? Yes. Interesting. Look at that bear one, though. It's three. 
That's when you want three bears. Mother and cubs. You want yeah. mother and you want ten points for each uh, set of three. Triplet. Yeah. Nice. Bears. And here's the one that gives bears one, two, and three sets. So two, five, or eight for ones, twos, mm. and threes, and then twos, threes, and fours. So bears are always going to be rewarding for small groups. Elks are always going to be in some kind of line. Salmon are always going to be a run. And hawks are like always... Big yeah. groups, mother and cubs, families, and big groups. Mating, pair, mating pairs, you yeah. tell us that one. Yeah, it was mating pairs. Hawks have some really interesting uh, things in like, they always want to be somewhat isolated, but then they have these like tracing through hexes and like sides of hexes to see other hawks and stuff. They're very Oh, cool. well, you're they kind can be of quite sort of already on the way there, right? Here, well, yeah, here, this, like, this is definitely one that here. you're uh, right. Interesting. <laughs> you're, I wasn't you're prepared I'm, for the next I'm game. I'm scoring that one, too. Yes. Yeah. Uh, I could get a point out of that, then. Right, yeah, that, that's one of the yeah. ways to score them, exactly. <laughs> well, thanks for teaching, Sarah. You got it. And thanks to you for watching. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and consider subscribing to our channel. If you click on the bell, you get notified when we put new videos. See you next time. Mm -hmm.